Hi, everybody. Welcome to MS Live. Uh, uh, this is uh, a channel where you will chat to the left, and I host. I host, uh, I read your comments, I uh, uh, interact with you guys, I answer the questions best of my ability, and uh, even better is that uh, I refer you to your neurologist uh, or your doctor when it's time for you to get expert advice. Again, a disclaimer, I'm not a doctor and neither are anybody here unless you say so. But even if you say so, we are not to take any advice, uh, medical advice from anybody here. We are to uh, uh, go to our doctor because uh, we might have side effects with any medication that is recommended. Uh, we don't know each other's bodies and we don't know each other's ailments. Uh, so I, I need to do that disclaimer. We're not doctors, don't take any. I say as gospel, um, use everything you hear here from fellow people that support, uh, that they come to uh, MS Frontiers, uh, I'm sorry, that come to MS Live. Uh, we're here to help each other. And I'm only here to provide a place that everybody can chat and I am nothing more than a host there. I've had MS, a little bit about me. I've had MS since 1984, uh, officially diagnosed in 1993. I'm on rituximab. I've been on uh, many, many study groups and many medications. Uh, so uh, you can ask me questions or ask each other questions there. Uh, today's topic, we're going to be focusing on incontinence, bladder, or bowel, uh, anything that affects uh, dignity. And it's important that uh, uh, we, we, we share with each other because this is common. This is a common thing when you have MS. Um, I was walking normally. Uh, before I had problems with incontinence, uh, uh, and it, it just, uh, it had to be one of my uh, early on symptoms uh, where where nobody could tell that I had that. Um, so, all right, I'm waiting for, uh, for let's see, I've, I, I've got 25 or 30 of you that normally show up there. So as you come in, I'm waiting for uh, Calvin, uh, Craig, Daniel D, Gina, uh, Jane, Jennifer, Jesus, Joyce, Lisa, Mike, Myrna, Nadine, Nadine uh, Raymond, also known as Josephus, uh, uh, Renee, Sammy Joe, Shaquille, Sherry, Tim, Tim, another Tim, and Troy, and of course. Uh, last but never least is Richard. Anyway, uh, uh, welcome. Uh, again, if you are new here, let me know because uh, I have a list. I have a list and I care about you. I pray about you. Um, I have the average age. I, ha I, I want to know where you live and I want to know uh, um, what type of MS you have What your and, and medications. I... Um, I majority of us seems to be on Ocrevez. Uh, Abagio is the second most common uh, drug people are taking. But I've, I've got some questions. Uh, rolling of rent. That's Sherry. Sherry. I'm, all right. I'm getting this down. Sherry. Uh, let's see. What medication are you on? And Cynthia, you're here. Uh all right, we're going to talk about bladder problems all today there. Oh, I'm so excited. And Diana. Diana, did you know what? I was just thinking, I don't have you on the list, and I should. I, oh, my God, Diana. And, and you are an anchor, Diana. All right, Diana, forgive me. Please forgive me. Where do you live? Um. I hate to ask your age, but nobody knows. And, okay, all right, let's see. Sherry is on, 
All right, Sherry. And how old are you, Sherry? You're on Oak Revez. And where do you live? All right, Cynthia, we are. I don't have you down either. Cynthia. All right. Um, Cynthia, how old are you? What type of MS do you have? I'm 58. See that, Sherry? I knew you were close. And you have uh, secondary progressive, right, Sherry? All right, for all of you who don't know, Sherry is uh, rolling around. That's her name there. She's in Bristol. Yeah, I knew you were Southern girl. All right, Tennessee, and uh, uh, yep, your best P. All right, I want you to know, Sherry, I love you, and and I really hope. All right, Cynthia is somebody one. You know what? Okay, Okravez, you're also on Okravez. I'm telling you what. That is, uh, and what type of MS do you have? Oh, you have SP. All right, SP. And Diana, forgive me. Forgive me. There, how old are you? And what are you on? And where do you live? All right, let's see. Tennessee. Sherry's in Tennessee. And Cynthia is in, oh, you didn't tell me. Yeah, you know what? All right, I'm going to talk about Desabri. I prefer Desabri, but many of our doctors pull us off Desabri um, because I, you know what? I knew that. Shame on me. I, it, I probably wrote it down on a napkin or something. You know how we are with MS. Uh, all right, Diana is 67. You have uh, Tim. I love Tim. Welcome. Welcome, to Jane, you're here. All right. Uh, Arizona. Oak Revez. Another Oak Revez. And uh, SP. You know what? Most of us here seem to be on SP. Easy. And Cynthia, you never told me. Oh, Michigan. Yes. All right. Tim. Okay. Let me see. Which Tim Donaldson. All right. Tim, what are you on? What medication are you on? Just, just uh, so I can keep this on. Remember, uh, we all are getting to know each other here. We have two Tims, Tim Donaldson and Tim Riches there. Um, I, I bought a uh, internet extender. So that uh, uh, you should be able to see me. Oh, Corvette, again. You know what, Cynthia, you already said that. I, You know, I'm, uh, most of us have secondary progressive MS there. I'm um, Trada. All right, I'm going to ask you. And, and Tim, where do you live? Lemtrada. All right. Where do you live, Tim? All right. So, so, um, just so you know, uh, I, I now I Ohio, Ohio. I'm gonna put that down. All right. Just so you know, let me turn off. All right. Let me. I'm gonna turn off my phone. It should be off anyway. Um, so I'm not interrupting you. I'm sorry. Yes, Jane, help me host. Remember, I'm just hosting. You guys are chatting. Today's topic is incontinence, urinary and bowel incontinence. Now, er, I was diagnosed in 1993, and I will tell you that that I was fine. My my One of my first uh, upsetting symptoms is my left knee would give out there, and, and uh, um, that was very upsetting. Uh, especially because I was a skier, and uh, um, not only was I a skier, but I played softball. I loved uh, dancing. I did all that stuff. Yeah. You know, so when my left knee gave out, I was very upset. Um, but uh, um, let me think. It was about uh, six years later. 
I was talking to a neighbor. My husband was in the Air Force at the time. And my neighbor came over and I was talking to her. And I was wearing jeans. And all of a sudden, my bladder just let go. And I was normal. I, I, I could walk normally. My knee bent fine. And, and this is because I came back relaxed. Remitting, I came back from the attack that took my knee. Um, I've got secondary chronic progressive now, but what was so devastating, I'm telling you, uh, I, I would have rather been punched in the face, I would have re almost rather been in a car accident than stand there and talk to her. And, and luckily, uh, in fact, uh, the dignity uh, had stripped me so much that that I, I, I'm all crazy now. I'll, I'll go to the extent. I'm sorry. I got to wear these because I can't see. And, and I can't see. I'm doing everything up close there. All right. So uh, uh, what happened? I went to the bathroom in my pants there. Um, she didn't know. I was wearing jeans. She didn't know. So when she left, I went and got cleaned up there. Um couple of days later, I was over in her, this is in Washington State. Uh, it was a sunny day, and that's rare. Um, and I sat down, and we were sunbathing. And all of a sudden, I felt like I had to go to the bathroom. And I was wearing a bathing suit. And I'm trying to get across the street to go to the bathroom. And it was a little, little country side street on Air Force Base there. And uh, I just sat down in the grass. I had to go potty so bad. Um, when I'm um, the reason why I'm bringing up my story, I want you to share your first experience with incontinence over here. You know the and and uh, uh, how upsetting it was. Your first experience with incontinence. Um, you know, I mean, with with potty. And, and uh, how have you adapted to it now? And Diana, it it's true. Now, you know, whenever I go to a store, I know where the bathroom is. Uh, you always, I always check before I leave the house. Always try, always try. When I'm at a store, I you know always try, try to go, try to go to the the bathroom. Uh, we wear pads. No, I do, Gina. Hi, I want to go there, Gina. With today's topic is uh, um, is incontinence, bladder control, and and we will later on we'll get into bowel control there. But uh, first, we're going to talk about bladder. Um, it's so devastating when that happens there. All right, you know what? Uh, and Diana wears pose. I, I love Tenna there. Even the small uh, pads there uh, worked yesterday. Um, hang on one minute. Donner. Donner. All right. Anybody want a miniature schnauzer? <laughs> no, you know what? Miniature schnauzers are great. All right. So back to urinary incontinence there uh um i'm telling you uh it, it it is such a major factor of your dignity early on but uh as you live with it and you realize that it's not your body's fault i carry i, I it's my brain what i look like and and the difficulties i have in my body it's not it's on its fault so um i have to manage that. If I don't go to the bathroom before I leave a store and I pull up my driveway there, now now I'll show you my community in a minute. I'll open the door and I've discovered that I can lower my pants and scoot to the, you know, sit down and get things out of my car and transfer it to my walker there. Meanwhile, I can be I can pee in public because I've I've discovered that I'd rather be seen peeing in public than I would uh, change my clothes. 
but I got it. It's it's my driveway. I, I pull in my driveway. My driveway gets more probably urine than than the toilet. <laughs> anyway, it, it's it's well, the good thing about having that experience early on is that uh, again you you realize it's it's not that important. <laughs> All right, Diana, you used up a schnauzer. I have a white schnauzer. I'll show you. Yes, Di Diana. If if we were the, um, Jane, if we were the makers of uh, these incontinence things, we could be rich. All right, Cynthia had a wonderful story here. She said she was at a casino and she was very embarrassed because she couldn't make it to the bathroom. Oh, well, wait until I'm going to uh, go into the bowel stuff at, uh, later on because we're going to have a lot of, we're going to have, hopefully we have a lot of people who don't have MS that know me will drop off there. So uh, to my old neighbors and my friends and anybody who hasn't seen me since I was a kid there, God bless you. Uh, thank you for tuning in and getting to know me there. But uh, this channel really is for, uh, uh, for for people with MS struggling with it. And I'm only a host there. So I wanted to uh, I want to talk a little bit about this. All right, another time, uh, this is before I was uh, 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 physically affected, before I became a visible there. Uh, my husband at the time and I went to a party in Princeton there and I had to go to the bathroom so bad and it was dark and he, he stopped and I, I I didn't have a cane I didn't need anything and I walked over um, by a bush there and I squatted pulled down my pants and started to go to the bathroom and uh, a car across from me turned on their lights it was time for them to leave they turned on the lights and it was like a spotlight on me there and and uh, uh, you know what Jane has good advice she says uh, um, she goes to the bathroom and sits there every hour uh, as a timeout, as a, a timeout, also it prevents a lot of, uh, uh, you know, it, it it removes the sense of her worrying. Um, all right, so let me see. I've got so many incontinent stories there. I have developed a way instead of panicking, standing there and going to the bathroom in the summer. I'll wear. Uh, large dresses you know or or and then i'll just I'll stand there and i'll i'll go uh but the the best is is if you have a car open the car door and scoot your butt down to the inside outside you know the the entryway sit down lower the back of your pants so that the front is covering lower that and and uh, I'm telling you what, it, it, just act nonchalant, act like you're not doing anything, like reach back and get your water, get the things out of your car that's on your passenger seat and put it on your walk in front of you or put it down on the, the ground there. So you're doing something while you're going to the bathroom. Nobody will know um, except for uh, my friends and neighbors and loved ones and anybody who's watching this that doesn't have them. <laughs> there and now my secret's out but that's okay i have one of the blessings about my life is that i've lost so i i, I have been challenged with so much uh things that could rob or situations that could rob uh my dignity but uh you know uh, um if it's true and that all things uh, in the good book, the Bible on, on Romans 8, 28 says all things good and bad work together for, per for, for good for those called according to God's, uh, uh, according to God. I'm, I'm gonna, if that's true, if that's true, then every experience I had, I need to tell you. All right. Uh, it's, 
you know what Jane said it's our secrets there now tell me over here you guys talk about different ways you find it's possible to have an accident in public and not go all over your clothes the the Jane talked about uh, um, wearing pads yeah. And Gina knows where every bathroom is. And she, Gina has great advice. She says, always keep a, um, a change of clothing with you uh, in case you have a problem. And Lisa used to, Lisa just, just chimed in and said, uh, in fact, Lisa, Lisa, I don't think I have. I don't. I don't have your age, where you live, and what medication you're on, Lisa. Let me see. Yeah, I, I need that there. So, uh, uh, Lisa, if you hear me. All right, that is. Just got here. Have we touched on what our spouse's reaction has be, been? We can do that on the side, but our main topic, Lisa, is, is urinary incontinence. Uh, it doesn't matter what our spouses or our friends or anything. Calvin! Calvin's here. Calvin's here. All right. Calvin, what medication are you on? Um, for those of you who don't know, Mr. Ad Dat is Calvin. Is um, That's Calvin. Calvin. You know what? We're talking today, Calvin, about urinary incontinence. We'll talk about additional in, uh, uh, bowel incontinence in a minute there. Um, diaper bag. She says, carry, carry a diaper bag. This is Sherry. Sherry is rolling around. Uh, no, uh, Sherry is, and by the way, Sherry has a wonderful channel too, YouTube channel. She does videos there. Sherry has had uh, um, spinal issues. So if you're in a wheelchair and, uh, permanently and, and you want to know how to adapt to uh, live a good life, a cheery life, um, uh, rolling around the Tri-Cities, will. Uh, uh, sh her name's Sherry. Sherry is a beautiful person inside and out, and she will help you. I'm I'm only talk, I'm only hosting this there. Uh, let me see here. All right, I'm not. Let's see. Jennifer, no wait. I'm gonna hit you in a minute. I'm gonna hit you in a minute, Calvin. I need to know what medic. Oh, you're not on medication because you have C D. CIDP. Yeah, it's that's that's clear uh, closely. All right. And Jane. Um, all right. For all of you who want to be on Ocrevez and you're not uh, uh, on Ocrevez, uh, do yourself a favor and ask your doctor if you are a candidate to get uh, the cheaper medication Rituxin. Uh, either one, just, just ask your doctor, if you're a candidate, if you can get it off label or something like that, because they're both, uh, monoclonal antibodies. Uh, oh, I'll explain a little bit about that there. Um, all right, Lisa, oh, MS, you had, all right, you're going to make me do the math, Lisa. That's, oh, 49. All right, Lisa. All right, where are you, Lisa? All right, you're 49. And, uh, uh, forgive me. Central Idaho. Are you on a, Lisa, are you on a disease modifying medication? I know you're on back lifting. All right, Lisa, I, um, I want you to look in my channel. Uh, there's a way you can search on my channel. And what I'd like you to do is search for uh, uh, where's my support system. 
Where's my support system? Because there's a lot of us who've had MS for a long time. And we've discovered that, uh, uh, yeah, you, Calvin, you're from Nebraska. I, I, I know I, I have prayed. I've, I've got my list here. You see there? So, uh, uh, all right. So what I wanted to, to say, what was I just, oh, I'm having an MS moment. Okay. So let me, let me look. I'm not good. I've I've got I've got your your names here and I pray and um I pray for all of you and it's my duty if, if you guys are gonna interact, it's my job to uh I wanna know you. I and I care. I really I really care, so I wanna keep going on. So we were talking um a little bit uh, about uh, incontinence and, and and a lot about it. Cynthia talks wonderfully. So does Diana. She drinks two liters of water a day. Uh, Cynthia drinks 64 ounces a day. I try to drink. We It's so important. We drink lots and lots of water. And, and our bodies need that to get rid. I drink two cups of coffee and I've got my coffee right here. Before 12, I drink two glasses of water before that, two cups of coffee, and then I, I drink, uh, um, I have a 24-ounce water thing, and I try to drink two of those the rest of the evening there. Um, yeah. Hi, Richard. Uh, you know, I already said, all right, Richard. Richard, you're on Ocrevez, right? Um, Richard, and, and you have a secondary progressive, you live in Maryland. Um, Richard, how old are you? Just so other people can know. Uh, now Diana talks a little bit about, uh, uh, let's see, about wearing pads. Uh, I like Tenna. Tenna, even uh, Tina, T E N A, you can get it on Amazon. And the importance of I like Tenna is that I used uh, number three. It's a light uh, panty lion, or yesterday I was digging in my garden. Uh, we raised uh, a little bit of a garden there. 73, you're just getting a good start, Richard. 70 is the new 50, by the way. Um, anyway, uh, uh, <laughs> but of course, 20 is the new 80 when you have MS. <laughs> so, so I mean, I, that, I, I've got a lot of funny things. So anyway, what happened is I was gardening yesterday. I was planting some of my, uh, some tomatoes and cucumbers and all. And, uh, the sun was on me. And when the sun, at the MS Warriors wave, I don't know you. Uh, all right, MS. All right, tell me what is your name, MS Warrior? Yeah, it's wonderful. What is your name? How old are you? What type of MS you have, and where do you live? And what medication are you on? Oh my god, you know, I, I um, well, all right. I want to tell you number six. I use uh, Diane's talking about Diana is talking about using uh, number six, but I use number three. Dennis, all right, Dennis. Let me put you down. Dennis, where do you live, Dennis? How old are you? And what kind of MS do you have? Okay. All right, so this level three was digging, planting tomatoes. All of a sudden, I had to go in the house. And and um, I believe it or not, I went to the bathroom. I was wearing pants. And and it, it absorbed. My pants didn't get wet. And I'm telling you, I, I needed to pee like, like an Arabian racehorse. 
and I had that much. I was really presently, uh, pleasantly surprised. Uh, so I do have the 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 uh, uh, heavy heavy uh, tennis pads, you know, for wearing uh, sweats and putting that in if I'm going to travel. But uh, uh, the 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 thin ones, and they're not even that thin. They they're pretty thin there, and uh, they're ten, and they have beads in there. And I think that that's how how these incontinence uh, uh, things work. There is they they all have beads. They're not like the old fashioned put a lot of uh, uh, Kleenex in in your pants. These are beads. So when you go to the bathroom, they span and you don't you're dry there uh you're 50 you know what we're all the same age it it seems or most of us dennis is 55 he has sp and another on oprah vez Vus. all right thank you thank you dennis god bless you dennis you or for blessing up all right so we were talking please um, uh, talk about a funny story about losing your bladder. This here is, uh, uh, I'm the host. Again, this is MS Live, and you guys are the stars there. You, you know what, young buck? We have, let's see, there's somebody younger. Troy, Troy is younger than you. Uh, the other Sherry is younger than you. You, you know what? You're not, you're not so old. You're not so old. Uh, oh, do you? All right. Uh, uh, Dennis hosts a podcast of MS TV. Um, you know what? Uh, uh, Dennis, do me a favor and send that to me. Uh, M3. You know, M3, what is your name? I got to say that. What is your name? What type of MS do you have? And where do you live? Dennis, where, where do you live? Did you tell me where you lived? All right, I'm looking, I'm looking. MS, what? No, you didn't. No, you, you know what? Anybody here, where, uh, you're giving out ages there, and I need to make it very clear to you. Uh, you all know that it's not about our earthly time on this planet because we're here but a, a minute. We're all not 16. All right. MS Warrior Dennis, you live in, in, in Indiana. All right. Indiana. And SP. All right. So, uh, um, also. Yeah, that is great. Um, okay. I'm trying to remember what I'm talking about, writing it down, your your names there. Uh, and, and I don't want to miss anything you're writing because you guys are, uh, uh, I'm just hosting. You guys are the stars. All right, so we've got panty liners. Uh, there's different ways we can pee in public without uh, uh, being so concerned. I got out of the pool, the swimming pool um, at my gym, and I, I knew I wasn't going to make it. I was wearing a bathing suit, and I'm pushing my walker. I knew I wasn't going to make it there. And all, sometimes I walk, uh, and, and it, my bladder will release. But I want to let you know if that happens and you're in your – you're uh, uh, you're being watched there. Uh, what is good advice there, California Marcel? God bless you. All right, I'm gonna put that down. Marcel is M3. Oh, I'm gonna have to. All right, M3. How old are you, Marcel? Oh, you're 30. All right, 30, Marcel. All right, what type of MS do you have? R R M S relapsing, remitting, and then you no. Know, all right, no DM. All right, DMD. No DMD. No way. All right, 
Okay, so let's get back to uh, uh, incontinence, urinary incontinence there. Uh, all right, so I'm walking across the pool, and a lot of times I, if my bladder releases, if I stop and I look embarrassed, like something's going on, uh, um, I'll draw more attention. But if I keep walking, even if you lose your bladder, keep walking, keep like nothing happened right it, it it you think the emperor's close if if we're convinced nothing's going wrong there we won't get attention uh all right so i was uh that's happened they also have an outside shower there are times i have uh only been able to make it to the shower i can't make it into the bathroom and and I, you have to know your situation um, should you try and, and have a stream of urine going inside or should you stop and, and uh, uh, just just let it go? So uh, um, we had wonderful advice about carrying a change of clothes. Uh, I went to the um, I go to the shower, turn on the outside shower and there was a bunch of people in the jacuzzi looking at me wonder why, why is she showering off i'm washing off the chlorine but to be honest with you i i think a few of them were looking at me pretty convinced i was going to the bathroom in the shower i turned and looked at them smiled and waved just because they thought i was going to the bathroom in the 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 shower doesn't mean they were wrong actually i was going to the bathroom but then again it's not uh Richard, yeah, Richard. Let me put that down. Richard on nothing. All right. Um, for those of you who are, let's just say, uh, 65 and older, um, talk to Richard about uh, uh, what you feel about him not being on anything, any disease modifying medication. Now, Richard's only 73 and the doctors say he's too old to be on medication um does he need a second opinion does he uh, uh should he would in your opinion should he be on medication uh these these are these are important questions to uh help her to uh the all right now it is uh uh we've been on for uh 37 minutes so I'm going to open the discussion with bowel, bowel movement. And I'm going to start with telling you a horrifying story. All right. To, to other, other people. It was my honeymoon. I was getting married a second time. Uh, we took a Holland American uh, cruise uh, to the Bahamas. And it was... Uh, all right, Cynthia. That's one... Uh, one I think uh, I agree with Cynthia, but uh, uh, I, I, I like medications. I don't like the side effects, but, you know, thank God. We live in a wonderful age to take advantage of that. All right. Uh, all right. Uh, Sherry, Richard, are right, these people are talking to you there. And Sherry talked a little bit about uh, getting a second opinion. Uh, uh, whether you, sh you should be on medication. I think you should. You know how I feel. I, I, I think, but again, I'm not a doctor. Maybe they don't want you on something because the side effects, uh, you're on medication that it might, might, uh, uh, you know, might not be Ill, uh, a candidate. All right. So uh, we went on a honeymoon cruise on Holland American. Now, all in America, they put, unfortunately, men's bathroom on one side of the boat and women's on the other side. So you have to you, you make darn sure. Hi, Colleen. Oh, Colleen. Oh, welcome. Oh, my goodness. All right. So I'm going to write this down and talk. Colleen is 55. What kind of MS? All right. Uh, uh, where do you live, Colleen? 
All right, and you're on no meds. No meds. All right, so what kind type of MS do you have? Oh, SP. All right, SP. And where, do you, oh, Illinois, another Illinois. All right, so, all right, I'm telling you, we went to this, they have, uh, on cruises, they have uh, uh, a, they have a formal, and I wore this really short sequence formal, and I had my walker, and all of a sudden, I had to go number two, I, I don't, ugh. and I'll, I'll talk about uh, how we can manage that, so I had to go number two, and this is a fine dining room. And I started walking out, and all of a sudden it was coming. It was coming. I wasn't. I I wasn't wearing underwear underneath of my fancy dress. I leaned up against the wall. Fancy dining room, and I want number two. Oh my gosh, how mortifying! Uh, uh, I'll, I'll tell you how how. I dealt with that in a minute. Second time this happened was uh, my husband and I were dancing. Uh, they were doing some uh, uh, Caribbean song, and I had to go to the bathroom. No more do. And I walked on the wrong side to the bathrooms on the wrong side of the boat. It was only men's. Women's was across the boat. So I walked in. Uh, you don't. You don't see. Uh, it, it shows that, uh, oh, <laughs> all right, all right, see, all right. there there goes uh, our 16-year-olds with driver license, uh, they get to drive uh, fire trucks, volunteer fire trucks, and they get left. okay, second time, I had to go to the bathroom, chose the wrong side of the boat, decided I was going in anyway. It was coming so fast. Guess what I did? I was wearing a bikini. I was young. I was 30 at the time. I did number two in the men's urinal. And a man walked in and saw me. And, and I was mortified. I was mortified. Right? And and the, the number two seems to be more upsetting. We can live with a little bit of an accident with number one. But number two, something about cleaning yourself up. Uh, uh, you just, you loathe, it, it, it causes loathe, this, this self, uh, uh, hate, even though it's not really our fault. So when you think about it, uh, there's ways that you can manage that. Now, now with, uh, uh, bowel incontinence, a pad won't work. So what, what you can, what you're supposed to do all right, is that your body gets used to a schedule. If you have MS, uh, you you definitely have to figure out the schedule for for moving your bowels, right? And what's really good is uh, everybody with MS should be having two tablespoons, at least a flaxseed with lots of water at night. Uh, uh, yeah, I, at least I did say man walked in and I, I came out and I said to my husband, I just, uh, uh, shook a bowel movement in the men's urinal, uh, with w witnesses. And do you think, uh, anybody would, you know, they're saying anything? Uh, and my husband says, no, you know, and that's the beauty of men. Um, is that this kind of thing is not a big deal. Uh, 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 a 30 year old woman in a bikini going number two in the urinal, uh, uh, they weren't going to tell their wives or their girlfriends. So I, I just want to let you know. All right. So typically you have a bowel movement after you eat. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he is. He he is there. Uh, okay. So typically on a schedule. So at night, before you go to bed, you have your flaxseed. Uh, I I do a quarter cup at night. That's the last thing. And it tastes like um, or walnuts. 
So have that with the banana, and then um, that's my uh, house, uh, Ren, there. Hey, be quiet. I asked him. I was on the phone, and he 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 decided he wanted to be the star or talk on the phone. Okay, so what what it is, the schedule, bow schedule. Yeah, uh, do your flax seed, have a huge amount of water, and then when you go to bed, there, uh, we talked about incontinence. There's many medications, but for some of you who don't know this, there's a medication called Desmopressin, D E S M O P R E A P R E S S I N. There, uh, call your doctor or if you have an MS urologist and ask if you're a candidate for that. Now, what that does is at night, it's a nasal spray. You'll, you'll sniff it and it, you can go uh, two, shot, two shots. Uh, will go about six to eight hours without shuts off your bladder. So you have to be respectful and kind to yourself. So it, it, do that. I also take, uh, uh, there's Vesicare, Desipressin, I'm sorry, Vesicare, uh, uh, Ditropan, and Detrol. They're the medications that give us a little bit of time. All right, so back to uh, you do the flax seed. You drink lots of water before you go to bed. Go to bed in the morning. This is this how you stimulate your bowels. You don't. Many of us have no business leaving the house until that happens. So what ends up ha what we should do, or what what is the protocol on this is. Uh, um, Drink for right when you get out of bed, drink two eight ounce glasses of, of water. So you do that. And then if you drink coffee, and I only do this, I drink two cups uh, before 12. And uh, afterwards, it'll affect the coffee is a stimulant that should get your bowels going. And also, what you want to do is you want to have break your fast, have breakfast. Uh, it, it's even like cats. I, I've trained kittens and a lot of uh, animals. After you're done feeding them, that's when uh, your bowel can start moving. All right. So what happens is that eat, you drink in your water, you've had bulking stuff in your intestines there. So you go to the toilet and get a little stool, a stool. Because when you bring your knees up, you raise your feet, right? Now, all of a sudden, uh, um, this, your, your bowels, your intestines are straighter. And, and raising your feet is, it puts you in a position to go to the bathroom. It's like kneeling, right? So, so raising your feet, sitting up straight, right? raising your feet, That'll put you in that that uh, uh, number two position. So you do that. I would say, uh, in fact, this here is is based off of what uh, uh, was said earlier. Was uh, um, if you take something you have to work on, like a list of what you're going to do during the day, and you you start a uh, uh, good. I started off. Look at, look at this here. Um, no, I'm not natural. Okay, so uh, if you go, if you do that, go to the, go into the bathroom. Daniel, Daniel, I am so glad you're here. Daniel's uh, been with us for. Let me see. I've got Daniel lives in Pittsburgh. He's got secondary chronic progressive. Hi, Daniel. Love you. Love saying your names here. Love the people here. Okay, so what have we done? We're talking about bladder and uh, um, bowel problems. And the second half of the show was uh, 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 about bowel problems. I also, if you, some of you have, uh, um, let's see, I, I've talked a little bit about that in the morning also. If you're not going to stay on your toilet, your commode, um, at, at a specific 
time because our bodies are normal. If we take the right medication and we get into a habit, we don't leave the house until we move our bowels there. Uh, we, we'd have a, you know, the incontinence is something that, that could happen there. So if, if you're not going to, to uh, stay on your commode with your knees up or anything. Uh, what I would suggest, again, I'm not a doctor, uh, so don't, what I would suggest is don't wear underwear, right? Get a, uh, uh, a extra large shirt. And that's the same for men too. Get an extra large shirt or get a kilt, you know, uh, something that, that tells people you're Scottish even if you're not, uh, when your bowels start moving, if you're going to have an accident, right? If, if that's going to happen, you won't soil yourself. Don't try to make it. Stop wherever you are with your walker, with your cane, or wherever you are. Stop where you are and, and move your bowels, do whatever in one area. Because I'm telling you, it's so much easier to clean that up. Now you don't have it all your over your body. You don't have to wash your body out up. Uh, you don't have to clean. All you have to do is get a, uh, a trash bag and and some paper ba uh, towels and clean it up. Curb yourself. Curb yourself. Put it in everything in there, and then uh, uh, get. Uh, uh, get some sort of uh, uh, spray and wash the floor where you are. But again, our problems, I think we can make things really, really, really messy if we uh, uh, try to push through and make it happen. Put number two where number two belongs. But if, if there's no way we're going to get it to where number two belongs, Let's stop and have number two happen. <laughs> right. Right, Jane. Uh, it's just let it happen in one spot there. Uh, and, and it's so much better to clean it off the floor and be clean yourself. You know, after you, you make a mess on the floor in one spot, right? Because you haven't uh, put it all over the place, right? In one spot. Then you go into your bathroom. If you don't have a bidet, there, uh, there is one that uh, uh, I recommend there. And, and they're cheap and they, they hook up easily to your toilet. Everybody with MS that has any sort of incontinence problem should uh, uh, have a bidet. So get to your bathroom, get to your commode, turn on your bidet, which doesn't take that much. It, 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 it's... Gosh, I think it's $30 and that's including shipping there. Get that washer behind there. But because you haven't moved, it, it you don't have it down your legs. You don't have it on your butt. You don't need a shower. You just need to wash your butt there. I have uh, um, some soap on a, uh, uh, some pump soap that I, I, I can actually wash um, back there and rinse it. Uh, rinse it off just to get all of that there. Um, anyway, Daniel talks a little bit about taking his pee bottle. And, and do you, Daniel, is there such thing as a poop bottle? Um, I'm just thinking, how can we uh, um, how can we modify our lives so that if we leave the house without going number two, uh, we're not, we don't find ourselves in emergency. I'm thinking, you know, Jane talks about uh, having a doggy bag. And you know what, Jane? I've curbed myself. I've gone for a walk around the block. And I can only go with my walker very slowly. And, and uh at the end of my at the end of my street, it's about a half a mile down there. I always have to go potty, you know, potty. Not not number two, but if that happens there, um, I I can actually scoot on the end of the walker, lower my pants, and pee right there. 
and and uh, and pet the dog and all, and then stand up. It's only behind me that that it, it's in the woods. There only they could see. Um, and if if somebody who lives in the house behind me sees, they're uh, uh, you know it's good. <laughs> It, it doesn't matter. Uh, one of the greatest things about uh, um, MS and, and being in situations where your dignity is compromised is how unimportant it truly is. Uh, uh, exactly. Daniel said it. bring, bring a, a paper bag or a plastic bag there and and uh number two in the plastic bag or if you have to go in the ground on, on the ground on the side of the road do so and the key the key is is that uh uh don't look guilty don't look like you're doing anything look like it's part of the norm you're out walking the dogs all of a sudden you sit down and take a rest there and and pet the dogs and just go to the bathroom all right if it, it so keep calm this is gonna happen right pretend you walk the dog you curb the dogs why are you less important god made you important whether you have uh uh any experience in this or not so uh just be be very calm love your body you're body doesn't want to let you down it doesn't want to poop all over itself it doesn't want to pee all over itself so you almost have to remove your emotions from the situation and think well is there medication i can give the body that will allow a little faster uh progress of the commode uh is are there diapers or is there something um I, I like what uh, Jane talked about, the uh, potty area. Yeah, and you know what? Catch you. Uh, you. You know how it's easy for a business owner to, to spot a criminal? They look around. They, they, they look guilty, right? So uh, um, we can... We can uh, sent out the signal. Oh my God! I, I'm going to the bathroom. I can't stop. I can. We can. We can virtual signal, or we can just go. We can go pet the dog. Uh, uh, you know, uh, look at our cell phone. You you need to be casual, just casual, uh, because your body deserves that there. So just be casual. All right, now I'm going to see that here. <laughs> it's true. Daniel just said uh, everyone poops. It's true. We eat. Yeah, I've got chickens. They they go to the bathroom. They do number two, right? My dogs do number two. I don't get mad at them. And chickens don't have a sphincter, so they'll go anywhere. Uh, uh anywhere they don't have any any anything there uh let me see do, do you do all right diana has you do your program every day um is that a question to me or to somebody else here uh let me see I do a bowel program every morning. If I don't go, I use it. All right. I I like what Cherry says. So, Diane, I think you're talking to Cherry. Uh, where, where uh, right, let's see. <laughs> you, you know what? <laughs> you're a funny girl, Lisa. Gosh, where do you live? I'm coming over so that that we can, that we can. Yeah, I, you know what I did, and and this will make you laugh because it sometimes it's hard to be. I bought on. Uh, in fact, I'll wear it uh, uh, on Thursday. It's a, a claw. You put a ponytail in, and you clip it there, and it's it's a hair extension. It's fake hair, uh, and and. 
you know, so in along those lines there, you just get out. What do they say? If, if it's going to happen anyway, get out making a par party, right? Make it a party because it's not a character flaw. A character flaw back to the cruise and me being an informal, a character flaw would be if I'd go back in after going to the bathroom, walk right by the mass and, and sit down and eat. But I didn't. What I did is after I went to the bathroom, I, I uh, walk, I had some paper towels and I, I grabbed a bag. And what I did is I went into this formal room and to the best of my ability, I picked that up and put it in that bag. Uh, uh, so, so it's, we, we do our best there. So I've been uh, doing this now for uh, one hour there and you know how we're going to be live again on uh thursday so uh please come back uh i love you i love you all there um let me say a quick prayer dear heavenly father i lift up this time um i just ask that uh you allow us to remember remember what uh what we heard here uh just and allow us to be comforted in this disease with each other, Lord, uh, um, because uh, you know, you know, with, with this disease is a tough, tough thing to do. But everyone here, we can do it. We can do this with each other. And you, you asked us to, to help each other. And, and people with MS are amazing. People who subscribe to my channel are amazing. And people who come to this MS Live, their uh, video channel where I'm, I host, they're, uh, they're awesome. Lord, uh, I give you thanks and everything. Amen. Uh, real quick, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please go and hit subscribe there uh and three there marcel come on back on thursday 11 o'clock eastern uh eastern time uh eastern standard time i live in maryland there uh subscribe go to msfrontiers.org and see the resources we have for you and uh, i can't wait in fact i cannot wait until Thursday. Um, please uh, write down any topics. We're gonna we're gonna do some free flowing stuff. Lisa, you talked about how do you uh, you cope with your spouse not having it there. So we'll talk about uh, uh, interacting, what we share, what we don't share uh, with the people that don't have MS and love us there. Anyway, love you all. Again, subscribe. God bless you. I will update my list. Keep coming back and have a wonderful day. Bye.